Welcome to Recovery TV. In this video, we're going to talk about three things that you should know about recovery. So don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, welcome to Recovery TV. Today we're going to talk about three things that you should know about recovery. But before we get into that, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and make sure you ring that bell so that you can be notified when more videos like this are posted. So let's get into it. From my experience as a professional therapist in the field of recovery, a lot of clients will enter recovery not quite having the proper expectations of recovery. So in this video, I'm going to cover three expectations that I think are important for you to know as you enter recovery. Number one, now, a lot of people probably already understand that it's not easy, but it is quite difficult. It's challenging and it should be challenging. And I'm not trying to discourage you from going. I want you to go to recovery and I want you to understand that you can do it. You can take the challenge. But some people are a little overwhelmed by the level of challenge that it is. And it's not that they can't do it. It's just that they thought it was here and it ended up being here. And that was overwhelming to some degree. And then they drop out. So I want you to enter recovery knowing that you're going to be challenged, it's going to be difficult, but you can also do this. You are capable of doing it. Don't convince yourself that you can't. Number two, now there is something you can't do in recovery, and that is you can't do it alone. Many, many, many people have tried, but from my experience, I've never seen somebody successfully do it alone. So of course you might be thinking, of course I can't do it alone. That's why I went to see a therapist or entered a recovery group of some sort and that's great that's a great start to have but recovery is about building a community of people not just having one or two people involved it's about going into it with the expectation that you're going to build a community of support and that doesn't mean you're going to have dozens and dozens of people supporting you for some people that might be the case but it does mean having a handful of people and resources available to you to help you along the way number three so the third and final expectation to have is that a recovery program is more than a 12 step program, or it's more than just going to counseling once a week, 12 step programs, counseling, those are all part of recovery, but recovery is a much bigger picture. Now, good recovery therapists will help you put that plan together and help you build your community and help you understand the larger picture of recovery. It's about living a life of recovery. It's restructuring your world and your perspective in a way that supports your recovery. And another way of thinking of recovery is thinking healthy living. That word to me is synonymous to recovery. So every day you're going to wake up and ask yourself, what am I doing today for my recovery? Or what am I going to do today to live a healthy life? Is that too much of us to ask of ourselves? I think not. So as you enter into recovery, try to remember those three expectations. Make sure you're asking your therapist or whoever the person is that you're working with in recovery, all the questions that you have and the things that you need to be doing to make this successful. And remember, you're worth the trouble. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you can be notified when more videos are posted. And we'll see you back here on Recovery TV next time.